Welcome to today's lesson and thank you for always joining us in our discussions. Today we are going to look at Form 3 Mathematics under the subtopic Commercial Arithmetic. But before we look at this question, if you have just come across this channel for the first time, kindly consider subscribing so that any time we produce a video like this, you'll automatically be notified. Back to the question. The question reads, the table below shows income tax rates for a certain year. We have the monthly income in Kenyan shillings and the rate of tax in each shilling. We are told that a monthly tax relief of 1,172 shillings was allowed. Otieno's taxable income in the last band or the last bracket was 3,200 shillings in a month. Part A, calculate his taxable income per month, two marks. We know for us to get taxable income, we always take the basic salary, you add all the allowances. But in this case, we have not been given the basic salary. We have not also been given the allowances. How do we get the taxable income in this case? For us to get taxable income, we are going to take the maximum amount before the last bracket, which is 35,600. We add the taxable income in the last bracket, which is 3,200. And this one is going to be equal to Kenya shillings, 38,800. And by so doing, you'd have gotten the taxable income for Otienol per month. Roman 2, we are told to calculate the amount of tax he paid per month. How do we go about this? One, we can begin by calculating the amount of income that is going to be taxed in each bracket. We know our amount lies in the last bracket, we have the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth slab. And the last bracket, we are told the taxable income was 3,200. How much was taxed in the first, second, third, and the fourth bracket? For us to get that, remember we tax the maximums, and the maximum in the first bracket is 9,400. To get the amount we are going to tax in the second bracket, you take the maximum in the second bracket minus the maximum in the first bracket, and that is 18,000 minus 9,400, which gives us 8,600. To get the amount we are going to tax in the third bracket, take maximum in the third bracket, which is 26,600 minus 18,000 which is the maximum in the second bracket, and that gives us 8,600. Fourth bracket, you take the maximum in the fourth, which is 35,600, minus maximum in the third bracket, which is 26,600, and that gives us a total of 9,000. And in the last bracket, we were told that the taxable income was 3,200. Now we can proceed and calculate the gross tax or the total tax. We have uh, the first bracket. The first bracket we had 9,400, which was taxed at the rate of 10%. 10% means 10 out of 100, 
and this gives us an amount equal to shilling 940. In the second bracket, the amount that was taxed is 8,600. It was taxed at the rate of 15%. We have the rate and this one is going to be equal to 1,290. We go to the third bracket. In the third bracket, the amount we are taxing is 8,600. And we are taxing it at 20%. And this one gives us an amount equal to 1,720. We go to the fourth bracket. The amount we are taxing in the fourth bracket is 9,000. And we are taxing it at the rate of 25%. Twenty-five percent is the same as twenty-five out of one hundred, and this one is going to give us two thousand two hundred and fifty. And lastly, we have the fifth bracket, and in the fifth bracket, we are taxing three thousand two hundred, and it was taxed at thirty percent. If you take 30 divided by 100 times 3,200, you get an amount equal to 960. And if you add all these amounts, it will give us the total tax, also known as gross tax, in Kenyan shillings. And the total is 7,160 per month. This is the total amount of tax or tax calculatable from the table. But we know individuals do not pay gross tax. They pay the net tax because of the relief. And therefore, to get the tax paid, the actual tax paid, you take the gross tax of 7,160 minus the relief of 1,000 172 and this one gives us an amount equal to 5,988 shillings per month. We move down to part B. Part B of the same question reads, Otieno's salary included a medical allowance of 8,000 and a commuter allowance of shilling 6,000. He contributed 6% 6 of, of his basic salary to a circle. Calculate his net pay. The first thing we need to do is to, to get the basic salary for us to get the amount that was deducted to the circle. We know that basic salary is always given by taxable income minus the allowances and the taxable income has already been calculated as a 38,800 we minus all the allowances we have two allowances, one for 8,000 and the one for 6,000, making it 14,000. And if you take 38,000 minus 14,000, you are going to get an amount equal to 24,800. From here now we can calculate the circle deduction. Circle deduction, we are told it is 6% of the basic salary, which is 24,800. And this one is going to give us an amount equal to uh, 1,488. From there now, we can be able to get the net pay. And we know the net pay 
is given by the taxable income minus total deductions. The taxable income has been given as 38,800 minus the total deduction. The first deduction was that of the net tax or the tax paid of 5,988. We add the amount that went to the circle of 1,488. And if you take 38,800 minus the sum in the brackets, this one is going to give us an amount equal to 31,324. And that becomes the answer to this particular question. In the case you have questions that you would like us to to clarify kindly interact with the channel in the comment section and we shall be glad to address your concerns accordingly